if you've been following technology for the last year or two, you'll, you've heard a lot about memory technology and all these new memories that are coming into the marketplace. And uh, the reason why that's occurring is, is there's been a revolution in manufacturing techniques and cell structures, some really exciting things happening with that. And uh, uh, so what we're going to be doing on today's We Vision is I've got uh, Ursh Wang here from uh, Applied Materials. He's managing director of the memory and materials technology, and he's done a lot. He has a great blog that you can check out at Applied's website uh, on uh, memory and new memory. But we're going to be interviewing about what's going on technically, and uh, how it relates to the new the actual materials that are going into the memory. So welcome to the pro program, Ping. Thank you, Dan. Uh, I'm glad to be here, and uh, it's. Uh, it's exciting, as you pointed out, that uh, there are a lot of uh, memory uh, landscape changing, uh, potentially, and uh, a lot of engineering work uh, has happened, and uh, as applied material, we are working on a lot of, a series of uh, new material sets uh, for this uh, new memory uh, to be successful uh, in, in about three to five years in high volume manufacturing. So why don't we just jump into it. Uh, uh, let's talk about MRAM. A lot of ex both Global Foundries and TSMC in the last few weeks have announced that they're embedding MRAM into their devices. Uh, it's a technology that was around for a long time and then all of a sudden we got this thing STTT MRAM come about. What's the difference between the MRAM today and the MRAM of the past? The MRAM uh, uh, used to, we call it uh, MRAM, it's a field driven. Basically, you're passing a high current. That current uh, creates a, a local magnetic field. Then uh, that uh, field will impact uh, the uh, so called the cell, and that uh, switching the from pointing the one direction of magnetization to another mag uh, direction of magnetization, that is uh, uh, considered as a cell. Uh, with that, uh, since it's uh, driven by a uh, magnetic field through a uh, large current, so that uh, scalability of that uh, uh, memory is limited. And uh, when you go smaller, smaller uh, 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 cell size, and then the requirement of that uh, current to create the field is not uh, reducing uh, accordingly with the cell size right. reduction. No one tried to embed it either, because mm -hmm. um, uh, I remember people talk about embedding it. Were there materials compatibility issues? 